November 1st, 2023. We got some really cool books coming out here starting the new month. Unnatural Order number one comes out from Vault Comics to give us a lot of cool indie books, small print runs. The writer is Chris Yost from X Men doing this new fantasy series, small print run. Haunting on Mars number one is from Scout Comics, another popular indie publisher, small print run, cool horror comic. Over at Marvel, White Widow number one, she's back with a new series. Bunch of variants, of course, including a 1 in 100 ratio. Art Trim Virgin variant, very nice, will be popular as many of his ratio books. Uh, every week I try to give you an estimate of how many stores I think will order some of these variants. This being a 1 in 100 ratio, realistically, there can't be more than 100 stores that would possibly order that many. And even that, I think, is too many. So print run, I estimate to be 100 or at least copies ordered by retailers print run could be higher from marvel or diamond that we can't confirm ultimate universe number one also comes out it's also got many variant covers including a one in one hundred ratio which very few stores ordered only a couple copies listed at like double or triple ratio spider boy is the big new launch first uh self-titled solo ongoing series from spider boy who debuted earlier this year. Everybody knows who he is. There's a bunch of variant covers, of course. These are all going to be a pretty high print run for all of them, so I wouldn't rec really recommend on these, except for maybe long-term for the higher ratios. But Spider-Gwen, number one, had a huge print run, and after five years, it was a $50 book, so anything can happen with a key book. Predator vs. Wolverine number one is out for the second printing, and there's a 1 in 25 ratio. And this one, again, not ordered by stores. The only couple copies left for sale on eBay are asking about eight times ratio. Good luck. This one you might find maybe, but again, how many stores will order 25 copies of a second printing? Again, it's got to be less than 100 stores. Captain America number one also gets a second printing and a 1 in 25 ratio. So I'm going to say the same thing. 100 stores at the most. These are very limited uh, orders for retailers. Transformers over at Image, number one, huge success, sold out at Diamond. So we get second printings of five different covers. Blood Commandment, number one, is a new horror title from Image. Bunch of great covers again on this one. Looks pretty cool. Savage Red Sonya, number one. Tons of great covers uh, for those Red Sonya fans. Uh, who likes sexy variant covers, this one's for you. I do see Return of Superman, the 30th anniversary. Uh, we get some original new stories, but there's a bunch of reprints, and they've got, like, the foil die-cut covers on some of these, uh, featuring the four different Superman that were launched 30 years ago. Stranger Things, The Voyage, number one, and it, uh, it's a Russia storyline. Canary, number one, looks intriguing. It's a new Western horror title, that takes place in the 1800s, the new series of Dark Horse, and they're doing a big push with lots of variant covers. Space Between, number one, comes out from Boom. This is a new sci-fi series. Red Light looks very interesting from small indie publisher AWA. Print run will be super small on this. It's a storyline about an AI sex worker. And A Blaze gives us a brand new horror series, kind of zombie uh, Walking Dead vibe. Almost Dead number one is out this week. We do the series every week, so please subscribe. Let me know what you think of the series, anything uh, that you'd like to see me do differently. I really just try to showcase only the books that I think really have potential to sell out and become future key issues. So we'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.